I'm Julie Shane. I'm the director of the National Center on Elder Abuse, and we have a sub project that's funded by Department of Justice that's the Elder Abuse Guide for Law Enforcement, EGLE. And I think I'm just thankful for this opportunity today to learn from all of you. Um, and what one thing we did when we were, you know, putting together, you know, being we're, we're housed at USC. So we're, you know, kind of academic minded and I come from a um, financial abuse background. Um, and so we put together this tool and, you know, we thought it was great. And of course, you know, we showed it to law enforcement and looked at us like we were crazy. It was just the expectations we have. I think that's the point I want to get to is that I'm just looking at my little world of elder abuse. And when they officer gets called out on a call of, off, of, law, of elder abuse and goes to the door, they don't know if they're going to encounter physical, financial, sexual neglect. They're not, you know, the expectations that we have that they're gonna know how to handle all these different situations. And then if you have an elder with capacity issues and it, it's just, you know, taking a, taking a step back and really looking at, you know, where we can be supportive, where community policing can come into play is, you know, I just, I just love that we're at this, this point in time because, um, we're starting to experiment with all the multidisciplinary teams and what that looks like and, and how coming together and people adding their expertise in so that there is better understanding, support, and um, um, collaboration. I feel like there, there is hopefulness out there and, and this is also part of it. So I just think if we can change, it's just like looking at between a felony and a civil case and all that's in between, it's, it's, it's a lot. And um, I think we need to kind of reframe some of that. 